After months of hard work, practice and early mornings, it all comes down to this. The region finals, a win today, clinching a spot in the state tournament in Birmingham next week. And tonight at Wallace State Community College, the 1A boys and girls region finals were taking place. The Covenant Christian Eagles in action, taking on Shoals Christian to finish off the action at Wallace State tonight. And Shoals Christian had a solid first half. Nice move from Sam Story to get a basket to go at the rim, but the Eagles were letting it fly. Andrew Bracken spots up for the deep three. He connects from long range, and they wouldn't stop there. This time it's Caden Smith getting one to go from the corner, and that's when things would get out of hand. Jalen Chandler with the steal. He goes coast to coast and slams it home for good measure as Covenant Christian advances to Birmingham with a 60-37 win over the Flame, leaving head coach Brett Waldrop proud of his team. I've spent my, almost my entire life at Covenant. I uh, went to school there, and I've been there 10 years now, and uh, I didn't know that we could ever do this, so uh, really happy to be going back. The Covenant Christian ladies were also in action in the 1A final, taking on Marion County, and the Eagles came out of the gates hot. Ashley Gann gets a tough layup to drop here, but Marion would respond. Nice hezzy from Alicia Shack to get to the rim here, but Covenant would take an early lead outside for Whitney Williams. She connects from downtown, but a big second half would be the difference as Marion County survives to advance to Birmingham with a 51-43 win, and for the Northeast Regents, we send it to Max Cohan, who has more from Jacksonville State. The Northeast Regional action continues at Jacksonville State with two tickets to Birmingham left up for grabs. Over to 2A action, it's Eider and Lynette. The Panthers rolling in hot off their upset of Pisgah. Early on, KK Wilburn was huge for the Hornets with two threes in the first half, keeping Eider in play with a 13-point outing. Nakiriana Hurd was a problem for Eider's defense, finding ways to slip through in a big first half that wrapped up with a buzzer beater, but she'd be a problem in both halves, finishing with 21 points. Tied at 46 with 30 seconds left in the game, Lynette's Layla Lancaster comes through with a huge rebound and return to put the Panthers up late. The Hornets would not be able to respond as Lynette hangs on to win the region crown 52-46. Now, usually Kerry Ellison is coaching the Lady Eagles at this stage of the playoffs, but in his first year as the boys head coach, the Jackson County legend has the Eagles fighting for the region crown. And Pisgah started the game red hot, opening on a 8-2 run, but the Wildcats turn the tables. Loose ball up for grabs and number four, Bendale puts it in for two. Then later, Legion McRae gets rejected on his drive in the lane by Jacob St. Clair, who heaves this one way down court. Caden Justice is cleared for takeoff, slamming it home through the contact as he adds a little rim swing for style points. The dunk in my last game was my favorite high school moment of my entire varsity career. But this one, I think, tops it a little bit. Uh, Wish I could hit the free throw, but it's all right. <laughs> but even after all that, Pisgah still led, adding on as Luke Gilbert drains a deep shot at the end of the first, but the quarter wasn't over yet. St. Clair with the half-court Hail Mary, and somehow it's good. Sand Rock was still down there, but all the momentum swung their way after that. Pisgah fought hard to rally, but this game belonged to the Wildcats. St. Clair led Sand Rock with 33, and Dale added 22 as Sandrock keeps rolling, claiming the 2A region title with the 83-67 win. So another round of region champs have been crowned. We'll see what tomorrow has in store. Reporting at the Pete, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports. And of course, earlier today, the 7A region championships were taking place. For scores and highlights from any game that took place today, check out our website, waytv.com.